How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're down here in the Keys. We're in the middle of November and it's still 80 degrees out here guys. We're going out today in the Cobia. As you see I'm taking all the covers out of it. Sea Hunt's nice and covered. We'll be using her in another video. But today aside from going out in the Cobia, we're actually going to spend the night and sleep on the Cobia. That's right. We're going to go out. We're going to get something for I say lunch. It's already about three, four o'clock. So it'll be a late you know, lunch, early dinner. Then we're gonna find a nice spot to anchor up for the night. And that's where we're gonna spend the night and I'm bringing you guys along. So let me keep loading up this boat. We need to put pillows, you know, covers, ice, water, drinks, food for tonight. And we'll take off. So here we go. And just like that, the adventure begins. All right, so nice little wind. It's supposed to pick up a little bit more tonight. It's about blowing 12, 13 miles an hour. It's probably gonna kick up to 18. So we're definitely gonna try to find a spot on the golf side so we're protected from the wind and we sleep nice and comfortable. Let's go ahead and take off. We're gonna come right here to the Key Largo Fishery. So we're not going too far right now for lunch. you guys up once we get close to the restaurant all right we're coming in through the channel to get to the key largo fishery it's kind of a tight channel i've been here with my sea hunt never with the cobia but it's only a foot wider so it should be fine as long as no the other boats trying to come out at the same time that's where it gets kind of tight in here oh I see a boat up there but Heading. Same way I'm heading. This is one of my favorite houses here in this channel because the house looks just like a boat. How awesome is that? All right, we're almost there. All right, guys, we're here at the Key Largo Fisheries. If you've seen my channel before, you've seen videos here. One of my favorite spots here in all of the keys to eat. We're going to anchor up here. I'm solo. I haven't eaten nothing all day. So once we anchor up, this is going to be my first meal of the day. And I got a couple snacks in here to hold me off till tomorrow. But with a good meal here, I should be able to hold off till tomorrow. All right, let's dock up. Ahead and hit the stay point. Can I put this? Yes, sir. All right, let's go ahead and take it off the stay point.
And just like that, with the help from the young kid that was here, anchored up nice and simple. It's crazy how big this boat looks next to a 28 that I got here next to me. I got a 30, remember guys, two feet bigger than this. I'm sorry, this is not a 28, this is a 27. So it's crazy the difference. Just a few feet, mate. But let's eat. Like I've said, I haven't eaten anything all day. Get something in the system so we can find our spot to camp before we run out of daylight. You guys already know what this is. This is a mahi mahi, the Cuban mahi, how they call it, the Cuban dolphin, which is mahi mahi, ham and cheese. And I got some lobster bites and the best view in the house. Man, I'm stuffed. You can't mess here with Key Largo Fishers. It's always great food, great atmosphere. Just seeing how much space I got. Yeah, I got plenty of space. So I can come out now, because I got that pole right there. So I'm gonna come out that way and head out and find our anchors. All right, guys. We're heading over to John Penny Camp. Like that, we could cross to the bay side. guys so we're coming here through Adam's Cut to get to the bay side and then we're gonna find where we're gonna anchor up like I said I have two ideas of where I want to anchor up but until I get there and I see the spot myself I can't guarantee it so still got about another hour or two of daylight left so number one order right now is to find where we're gonna spend the night guys I think this is gonna be the spot for tonight the wind is gonna be coming offshore I'm on the golf side but I should be protected right here by these mangroves for the wind so I can sleep nice and comfortable let's drop the anchor and let's set up everything for tonight Officially anchored. You guys hear that? P. 
peace. No sound. I really wish my wife was here with me today, but they don't want to sick how I've told you guys and she had to mess out on this trip, but I really wish she was here too. Alright, first things first. Set up the table. Alright guys, so I got the tarp set up, the table, a little snack later on. Bring you guys in here. We went ahead and turned on the AC so it can start to cool down. It's about 80 degrees right now. We went ahead and started it. So it can start to cool down in here. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up so it stays nice and cool. We'll be checking here if it's getting colder or not. Water's flowing, so it means it's starting to work. I'm just waiting for the sun to set. I'm going to give you guys a beautiful drone shot as soon as the sun starts to set, guys. I'm not a professional at this. This is actually the first time I ever camp on a boat, but I want to bring you guys a cool video, and here we are. I'm going to put the alarm on for the anchor, make sure we don't swing away while I'm sleeping. Can't really see bottom, but we're only in about five feet of water, which is a good thing. One thing I recommend when you're going to sleep on the boat, if you notice, I was dragging my anchor a little bit. I went ahead and gave it a little bit more slack so we're not dragging so much. But what I did was I did the anchor alarm. So if I get near any of these boundaries which is far away from land from these mangroves here it'll give me an alarm like that I can go to sleep and not worry about bumping into anything or waking up on top of the mangroves so this is something that I recommend everybody do when it's time to camp sun is starting to set I'm gonna start getting the drone ready for you guys to get some beautiful views and it's just so damn peaceful out here, guys. Look at that beautiful sunset guys. Alright, sun's about to disappear. And we got the moon, full moon, shining. That means that it's gonna be plenty of visibility today. Alright guys, it's about eight o'clock. You can see the lights from Miami out in the distance. Still watching the heat game here. Got it on the surround system, it sounds great. Got seven points in the quarters, ten in the first half. Got it connected here. Pulled out some sushi that I bought. Got some sandwiches. It's gonna be more of breakfast, but probably maybe eat a little sandwich. But I'm gonna eat this little sushi now. It's kind of getting a little chilly out here. The inside, it's freezing. Had to open peak creek this a little bit because it's freezing in here. Super cold. My anchor alarm hasn't sounded and I put it on the shortest, you know, radius, so that's a good thing. 
got all the lights on, but let me show you. If I turn everything off. reflection on the engines that's about it and watching all the little fishes pass by so yeah um, after I finish eating guys I'm gonna probably take a quick shower take a shower right out here with this hose I filled up the water tank before I came I want to let you guys know only about 80% of you guys that watch my channel are not subscribed okay that means that only about 20% of you guys are subscribed to my channel it's free guys I'm gonna give you guys a quick second now it's the time to do it go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button a little like if you want it or you can wait till the end of the video if you've decided if you like the video or not but it's super peaceful out here guys wish the wife was here said that a couple times already but just got off of FaceTime with her let her know I'm okay I usually go to sleep at home around midnight so be awake a little longer before I go to bed it's awesome I can get used to this this will be a little a little dry run for when I do this in dry tortugas and when I do this maybe when I go to Bimini stay at Honeymoon Harbor maybe at Brown's Cave spend the night there that would be cool just me and the wife but forgot the chopsticks but good old hands work once I'm done eating I'm gonna take a quick shower and I'll get right back with you guys all right I'll show you guys Holy crap, it is cold in here. Ah, my God. It's blowing. So, check out the bed. You got it right here. Ah. Check this out. And I don't even got my head all the way over there. Some people, you know, if, I'm going to put my head this way, but if I was with the wife, I would actually put our feet that way, which she always puts her cold feet on my feet anyways because I stay warm and our head's this way. We also have this right here, this little bunk right here, which we can put right here and extend it even more. You see this extra bunk right here so if you could extend your feet a little bit longer. And we just got to put this and fix it, but you guys get the idea. So, AC, it is so cold in here. You got the view right here on the outside. Yeah, not sleepy yet, but that's where I'm going to be sleeping. All right, guys, just took a shower. I went ahead and turned off all the lights. We left these few lights here. And the water lights. I'm gonna go ahead and come in here. Got a nice little setup right here. I think it's time for bed. That's what you hear at night. Wind picked up a little bit, but that sound doesn't bother me at all. I sleep like a baby, just like it. See you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna get some sleep. I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. The next morning. Good morning, guys. Wind shifted a little bit last night, but same spot we were yesterday. Anchor alarm didn't go off or anything. Slept pretty good. Last night, 
I had to turn off the AC because it gets very, very cold in that little cabin. So I ended up turning off the AC and opening one of these doors so it wasn't so cold. But I'm going to wait for the sun to come out. I'm going to eat a little bit of breakfast. That's what these little sandwiches are for here. Of course, I can't eat all this, but it's Cuban sandwiches. But so peaceful out here. All you heard last night were the waves. Honestly, for first time, first night on the boat, I slept pretty good. Usually when you sleep away from home for the first night, whether it's a hotel, a resort, the first night you don't really sleep too good because you know, you're not used to where you're sleeping. I had I didn't have that problem at all. I slept really good. Now, a lot of you guys are watching this video for the first time right now, but if you follow me on Instagram, or if you follow me on my new Facebook page, which where I'm gonna be posting everything from now on, you guys would know that I'm here and doing this beforehand, weeks before. So if you guys wanna keep up with me on the daily, I suggest you follow me on Instagram and definitely follow me on the new Facebook group. Good stuff. Also, guys, now that Christmas is coming, I'm going to do a giveaway. You guys are going to be able to win merch and a couple other cool things that I'm going to buy to give away. Um, basically, for you to be entered into this giveaway, you got to be following me on Instagram. Of course, subscribe on YouTube. And you got to be following me on the new Facebook page. So that's going to be a giveaway. If you want to get a head start, go ahead and follow me on both. Like that, once I start it, you guys are already entered. And right before Christmas, I'm going to do a, you know, a random online raffle selector thing. And when you guys are going to be able to win, maybe some shirts or some other cool stuff that I got coming up that I'm going to announce on the next video. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned to that. All right, first things first, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this down. So when I decide to get out of here in a little bit, I don't have this to worry about. Well guys, breakfast was great. I ate about two of them. The sun's already out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up anchor and head back home. But the overnight stay was a success. Just a little bit of a test run. And the Cobia Pass with flying colors. Let's get this baby started. Let's pick up this anchor. Let's go home. All right, guys, we're going home.
home sweet home. Now let's get this baby docked up on the lift. Let's give her a good wash. She's been out all night. Alrighty guys, just finished flushing the engines and cleaning the boat. And since we're on the topic, I want to let you guys know that I partnered up with Boat Gear USA. Boat Gear USA is an online store that has all kind of products. And since I partnered up with them, they gave me a promo code for 10% off all cleaning and maintenance supplies. So when you guys check out, you put in Miami 305 and you're going to get an additional 10% off. Boat Gear USA, if you guys don't know, is one of the biggest online retail stores. They have everything you can find. They will price match you. I went on there the other day you can find anything from Garmin, radars, winches, GPSs, AC units, everything you need for your boat, you can find it there. So make sure you hit up Boat Gear USA and don't forget to use promo code Miami305. Alrighty guys, you already know what time it is. This is the time where I say goodbye to you guys. Boat's clean. Shout out to the people from Boat Gear USA. Thank you for the promo code and the new affiliation program. And Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notification button. Follow me on the Facebook and on Instagram because I'm going to be doing a giveaway on the next video. So make sure you guys are following already so you can be entered to win. It's going to be a lot of cool prices. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace.